Hey, this is, this is a small video of transient analysis in ANSYS. So transient analysis is basically finding a change in property with respect to time. So the thing that is going to change here is volume fraction between the two liquids with respect to time. So here I have a funnel as you can see and uh, uh, there is water in the funnel. So if we la open the lead at the outlet, the simulation is basically going to simulate how the water flows out of the funnel. So let's open ANSYS Workbench. So first thing is you import the geometry and second thing is you define the mesh. So here I have kind of defined a default mesh uh, as you can see here with some inflation in it and uh, I have created surfaces so you can select the surfaces you want and you can create create name selection to create surfaces so here I have open surface which is a funnel open at the top and outlet at the bottom and walls and side walls of the funnels so let's move on to the setup so in the setup first you have to click transient and then define the gravity check the gravity box according to your axis so then then second thing is you include the materials so you include water liquid in the material you can easily create fluid by clicking on chemical formula and fluid base selecting the fluid that you want water liquid and copy and then change create after defining the materials you have to define the model the model is multi-phase volume and fluid with uh, checking the implicit body force option and uh, then you have to define the phases so you have two fluids so you can define the phases in setting up physics phases show show all and keep air as your primary and water as your secondary phase and then you have to define the viscosity model the viscosity model is k epsilon standard 2 equation model it's standard 1 and then you define the boundary condition so the so the boundary condition are as follows the top portion of the funnel is open that is pressure outlet at 0 coach pascal and second one is the outlet which is also at pressure outlet 0 0 gauge pressure uh, and the walls are at no slip condition so one thing you have to do is uh, keep the second option of water at backflow vol volume fraction 0 basically what it does is uh, doesn't allows water to enter from the top surface of the funnel uh, so you have done this and click on operating conditions operating conditions and click on specifying operating density that is of air now you can go for initialization initialization is hybrid initialization initialize And then patch so in the patch settings you have to click on water phase water volume fraction 1 at the initial condition so that means that your funnel initially is filled with water after doing doing that calculation activities you can export the data that you want in CFD post compatible format by selecting the surfaces at, at by selecting the surfaces at what you want the data and click what data you want already created one and then click on run calculation so uh, so the run calculation basically have few options like the time step and number of time step so depending on the size of the time step and number of time steps you'll get a simulation time so the total simulation time is equal to time step size into number of time steps so i have 0 0.01 into 300 so i have a simulation of 300 into 0 0.01 that is 3 seconds 
and then all these things are done for your convergence so let's check the results so as you can see i have the results here the results are at a given time step you can check this button to check at what st time steps you are so i am at the third second that is at the final time step so i can i can go to any time step i want so to check the results for uh, to check the results i have first created a plane by going to location and plane plane 2 okay i don't want to make it okay i'll make a uh, uh, y z plane i've created a plane and then go to contours and then location at plane 2 and changes variable that i want is density and apply so you can see i have created a plane with variable and uh, to record the animation i can go to this button and click on this one click on this button and let it record and then you can do do one thing is you can save the movie in your selected file so you can see a movie here how a vortex kind of thing is generated when the funnel when the fluid in the funnel leaves the funnel so Thanks for watching.